Hey everyone, Eric here from Lapix with another video for guys today. Hope you guys are all doing well. I have this nice M2 MacBook Air. And if you noticed, macOS Tahoe is installed. And it installed uh, before I was able to, to get the backup installer of it because we are a repair shop. We do lots of MacBook board repairs. We also do day recoveries. If you guys are interested, check out those videos. We're gonna be talking about how you can make a USB installer. And when you're wondering, well, I could just use recovery mode and then just grab the latest macOS, correct? Yes, you typically can do that, but you would need to have the upgrade first or you're on an older macOS that you just want to jump right to Tahoe that's already supported on it because there is a list of Macs that are already supported. And if you notice, some of the Macs are a little bit older, but they are supported. And sometimes you won't be able to just check for updates or you might want um, a backup for it in the future or who knows. I'm gonna show you guys how you can get the installer. All you need is a USB. This method's gonna work for both ways if you do already have macOS Tahoe installed or if you have an, another operating system that you wanna to upgrade to. So we can go to our spotlight at the top. You can type in terminal and when we open it, so what you wanna type now is it's a command and I'm gonna paste this command in the description for you guys and the other one that we're gonna to use too. So we're gonna type in software update list full installers with a few dashes in between, just like this. And you're gonna hit return and it's gonna go search for the installers. So you have a list here and this list is very good because it shows all of them that are available. And let's see what it says. So we have a bunch that we can work with here. We have macOS Monterey, Ventura, Sonoma, Sequoia, Tahoe, oh, Tahoe, that's what we wanted, right? So when you have the list here, you're gonna uh, write another command based off the one that exactly that you want. Let's say if you wanted um, the latest and greatest, which would be macOS Tahoe version 26.0.1, then you would type this in. It'll be software update, it says fetch full installer, full installer version. And for this part at the very end here, you can change it to whatever that you like. So it says 26.0.1. If you wanted to get Sonoma version 14.7.5, you can do that as well. We want the latest and greatest, so we're gonna just type in version number 26.0.1. Don't worry about the rest of the title there, you just need the version number to put at the end. And then after that, you can hit return. And it's going to scan for the installer, and it's gonna go ahead and download it from the internet on Apple servers. We're gonna go ahead and wait for it, and it's installing now. So it's a pretty large file, so the image finished installing. Now, where is it? Where did it go? So you can check your applications now. And you can just check your finder and go to applications. And now we'll see the installer located in applications. It says install macOS Tahoe. It's a 17 gig installer. Now you need to have a USB. We have a 64 gigabyte USB here and we do have a little dongle, right, to do that. So we're gonna be plugging this in and you need to have at least a 32 gig uh, USB because you can see the size of it. The size was 17 gigs for the installer. So you need to do that to put onto USB here. This process will format all that data on the USB or storage device, which is gonna erase absolutely everything. We suggest just having the USB as a dedicated installer only. Okay, and we're gonna allow the USB. You're gonna get a lot of permissions with Macs when you plug anything in anyway. And this is a brand new USB, so it actually literally says no name. Now we could leave it as no name, but we want to call it something different. So all you need to do is we can just double tap and then hit rename. And I wanna call this Mac OS Tahoe. And you guys can call it whatever you want, um, but this, it might make it a little bit easier if you call it this, because I'm gonna uh, paste the terminal command um, in it and it's gonna make this a uh, lot easier for you guys to do it so you don't have to change anything. It'll be copy and paste. So name it macOS Tahoe and it made it all caps for some reason, <laughs> but that's okay. That shouldn't really matter. And now you're gonna be pasting this command, which I'll post in the uh, description and it's gonna make it a bootable installer. And our volume is called macOS Tahoe. If your volume name is something different, like if it was no name, we would say no name here, or if you guys wanna name it whatever else that you like, you need to change this part, which would just be the end of it. And after that, um, again, this is going to wipe the whole USB, so make sure you don't need the USB itself for anything else there. And yep, we can just hit uh, return. We can hit, whoops, we can hit return when it's done. Usually it asks for a password, um, so you would type in your password, and then just hit return and then it's gonna do it. It won't show anything else. And then it's gonna ask, it's gonna say again, we're gonna wipe it. So you wanna hit Y 
and then hit return, and now it's going to erase it, and then it's going to create the media. Okay, so it finished, so let's go ahead, we can cancel everything, and we can safely eject our USB. So you have a USB now that has macOS Tahoe. So let's go ahead and test it to make sure that everything worked. On Apple Silicon Macs, you just want to hold the power button and let it uh, power on. And you're going to keep holding because it's going to show um, boot options. And once it shows loading, you can let go of the button and it should show into our interface there. Let's see. And boom, you have your Mac OS Tahoe. Um, you can unplug it too and you see it goes away. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on creating a USB bootable installer for Mac OS Tahoe. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you guys are interested in MacBook repairs, MacBook data recovery, a playlist, we have so many videos on that. If you're interested, go ahead and check that out. Um, otherwise, thanks for coming along the journey with me. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Take care. Bye.